Do you feel the vibes? Hello everyone, welcome back to NHL 17 Carolina Hurricanes GM Mode Commentary Season 4. Um, I believe we are going into the start of Season 4, and this is going to be Episode 14. 14. Episode 14, this will probably be uploaded, so I'm doing videos every single day, and I've gotten uploads all the way up to Episode 13, and it's only March 24th right now, so... You will be probably seeing this video in on April 1st. April, April Fool's, I think. Yeah. So you guys will probably be seeing this video in the 1st of April, and I'm filming this in about a week before. All right, so let's see where we started off at. So, wow. All right, so we did a lot of work from the last few episodes. Um... 93 overall offense, 91 uh, overall defense, and 95 goalie. Um, let's take a look at the lines here. What we got, what we have to start. Edit lines. So we have Evander Kane, who's still, we still have him in a signing. I think I only signed him for two years. So that's a big pickup there. We still have Ty Kyle Turris. I guess we still signed him for two years. But because I don't know, like, these guys are both old and we have our team that is uh, like we have a gigantic team of players that in the next like three years are just you gonna everyone's gonna be like leading the team we won't have space to hold these contracts anymore so what I could try to do is get a few prospects or draft picks for these guys back because their contracts are going to end anyway so if I just let their contracts end, I will lose all of my trade value for them, and I won't have anything in return. So, these guys, um, I'll go. I'll actually go check that real quick. Uh, it's not in uh, progress reports. No, it's in manage contracts. U contracts. All right. Let's see. So Velasic's endings, yeah, the Velasic, this is the guy that was most important, Velasic. This guy, he's got our highest trade value on the whole offensive side of the team because he's 91, but he's 32 years of age, so that trade value should be going down in a little bit. Um, and we need to do something so we can actually get some sort of uh, trade value back from that and not lose it all from spending that money on it so maybe get some draft picks back or maybe get a prospect from him um and then same with Turris. um see like this is the reason why i can't sign Turris and velastic because shisharon he's gonna want a huge contract next year it ends next year lindholm ends next year i don't know what uh if he's he should be on a big contract right now uh strom's gonna want a big contract he's on the small contract right now he's gonna want a big contract Zykov is going to want a decent contract. Luthier is going to want a big contract. Uh, Gustafsson, he's going to want... No, there's not going to be too much there. Yeah, no. All these guys, these guys are all all okay. But next year, if we're looking into... Do it. Do it. 21 years old. No, I don't want him. Next year, if we're looking into this, <clears throat> no matter what... We have four million dollars of cap space. Velasic is since we had to we picked up three of those three guys. Turris and Velasic are ending this year anyway, so this would be a good time to trade these guys away. Either now or at the trade deadline. Um and Yeah, no. It, like either now or at the trade, um, these guys could probably stay with us till the trade deadline, give us a good record going in. But then um, there's no way I'm gonna be able to sign these guys for the uh, 
next season. So uh, these guys just want way too much. We don't have the cash space. We'll have four mil. We release these two guys. We will have like it will free up probably like 15 mil in our cap space but then that's gonna have to go to i'm guessing he's gonna want six mil somewhere in there he's gonna grow next year or when he wants the contracts he's gonna still grow he's gonna want like six mil lindholm's gonna want like four mil strom's gonna want like four mil zykov's gonna want something youth there is gonna want something like i don't even know how we're even gonna afford that without these guys so these guys have to go some sometime this year these guys have to go Velasquez, Velasquez, and Turris. maybe we can hold on to evander kane one more year because i thought he had uh ended too but i guess we have him for one more year so let me just look at our trade value so this is what i this is what like my plan or this is why i didn't want to lose this so if we go into our trade values so Velasic right now, as of right now, he has one year left, but his trade value, even though he has one year left, his trade value, yeah, though, that, that salary will help me get two of those other guys back. So I could even possibly, like, I, I definitely need to trade this guy because of how much salary he has right now, and we won't, have, we won't be able to afford that next season. But um, that trade value, if I just don't do anything next season and I won't be able to sign him back because I'll have all these new guys coming up that are going to take his spot anyway and they're going to have to get his salary too plus he's getting older um like it's either like live in the now and if we can't get it now like the chance that we can't get it now he's not going to be at the top in two years when we try to get it the next year so it's just more worth to go for the younger guys right now and uh if I don't do anything here, that full trade value bar just diminishes, and it will go to some other team. So that will not help us out at all. So we need to trade this guy away to get some sort of trade value back. Dougie Hamilton should be good because um, he's still young. Um, Chaisheron, he's still got that high trade value. Turris, is, there's the other one, got that high trade value. That would be, okay, they have a ton of space there. So I will have... I might not. I might be able to keep Turris for another year, but I don't know if I'll need him with all these guys coming up big, Tavo Teravine and stuff. So I might end up being able to get rid of that and maybe even signing another free agent signing, depending on since I just I overpaid these guys so much. I remember just so we could stay on cap space for the other side of the cap space. But uh, yeah, big big contracts for uh these guys. Um, Turris and Velasic that will we might only have to get rid of Velasic or maybe even just uh, Turris but we'll see when that time comes we'll probably do that at the trade deadline but let's see what I can Every they all want on Anaheim they all want this guy so let's see uh, they don't have anybody that even comes close to him goalies they have Gibson but uh so I wouldn't be able to do a trade here. See who else wants them. I'll just check with two other teams. And plus, like, the, I doubt there's going to be any sort of chance for here because I need somebody that's going to get paid. Um, Jonathan Taze, Patrick Kane. Well, I could, uh, I could get Patrick Kane off this. I could trade him off right away. How many years left does he have? He has four years left, so that is that is really good. And Artemi Panarin, holy crap! Artemi Panarin, Patrick Kane, holy crap! I can make we can make the playoff run here if we if we want to get. I want to get. I'd say we get Patrick Kane, Artemi Panarin. <laughs> we can't can't get Jonathan Daves. I want Jonathan Daves too, but. Uh, we wouldn't have a center. We could probably have Turris center them. Don't know. Kane has to be on the wing. Let's see. There's no way that'll go through. They want Velasic though. Get Patrick Kane. And put up Artemi Panarin up here. We would be over salary cap. But we're going to give them... 
Let's see if Taurus. And what if I put I won't need Lindholm if I uh if I do this trade. Vlasic Taurus Lindholm. So I'll have Comtois, Kane. No, I won't need Vander Kane. I don't know if I want to get rid of him yet. Yeah, I guess I'll get rid of him. That puts them way over the salary cap, though. Let me try it just because it's just lo uh, going out like that. Let's see. Do they want draft picks? They don't want draft picks. First round draft pick. That's not gonna go through. I don't even I don't even wanna try. First and two seconds, I'll try that. Uh what if we pay a little bit of Vlasic's salary so that fits in with them? We'll pay ten percent or we'll pay fifteen percent of Vlasic salary. He has one year left. Oh two uh, <laughs> two first round picks. Oh I if we do this we could trade for a first round pick no matter what anyway. So fuck it. Two first round picks Vlasic we're going to pay for a little bit of his salary so they stay salary cap compliant. Uh, I can't. I don't know why it's not letting me view the player here. Okay, there. Mark Edward Velasic, age 32, top 4D, our top defenseman right now. And Kyle Turris, a center for Patrick Kane and Artemi Panarin. Actually, I want... Uh, I don't. I, wa I don't want to get. I want to get. I have to give Turris away. Cause he's gonna end soon. Uh, fuck. I might need to find a center for them though. They won't do well if they don't have a good center. Uh, fuck. I'm gonna keep. Fucking. Do they want a Vander Kane? I'm going to have to get rid of Evander Kane eventually here, too. Yeah, they want Evander Kane, too. But I'd have to put in probably... Evander Kane. Maybe, maybe I can get it with the second round. I'll have to I'll have to end up trading him later anyway. So let's see if that goes through. No. I didn't think that was gonna go through. So let let's see uh I don't think Turris went through either. So Vander Kane eighty six. I guess maybe it will ride him out one more year, Vander Kane, see how he does. Terrace, I guess we're just going to have to go here now. I don't like that we don't have a center right now. Strong, that gives Strong some chance to uh, step up, though, big. So, still rejected. Um, so, he's only got one year left. Terrace has only got one year left. I could go even more with this because I won't have to pay this next year anyway. So... I won't have to worry about the retained salaries anyway after this. So let me go, let me give them freaking 30%. See if that'll go through. Oh, all right. Freaking 50%. I don't even think I have the space for it. Nope. <laughs> Well, that will make trades harder in the future, but uh, through retaining 5 mil of Vlasic salary with Kyle Turris for P 
Patrick Kane and Artemi Panarin to make a playoff possible uh, cup appearance uh, this year. Maybe I'll end up getting Evander Kane for a defense. Still, wow. All right, I'm not. I'm not about to have a retained salary of five mil, even if it is one year. But five mil is a lot for a retained salary. Plus, we're running into salary issues, so I need to figure out something else besides this. So, uh, I feel I'm pretty sure I have to like give somebody that they really need. This guy, Tapper. That medium top six forward. See if throwing him in there will do anything. No. I think they want a uh, prospect, pretty much. Not a prospect. They want, like, one of the, like, up-and-coming prospects that are doing really good. And they want Maxime Comtois or Nolan Patrick. Uh, let's see. What, what do we have? Has our goalie's got any trade value? They want Fitzpatrick. They want Gustafsson. We don't really. Fitzpatrick can grow. And Gustafsson. He. He can. Uh, Gustafsson's still growing as well. Fitzpatrick's growing. They want him. So let me see. Will that go through? Vlasic Turris. Fitzpatrick, Kane, Panarin, he'll probably get more seasoning over there anyway. Let me just look at their their goalies. They have Corey Crawford, and he's getting old, so they do need somebody to come and take his place, so he will get the playing time over there if he goes over there. <clears throat> Vlasic Turris, two first-round picks, and Fitzpatrick for Patrick Kane and Artemi Panarin so he can make a playoff run. No! <laughs> What do I gotta do? <laughs> what do I gotta do to make them accept this trade? Oh, this is. I don't know what to do anymore. I can't. I can't go another one. I can't give Gustafsson because that'll be our backup. I keep getting messages from my friend. All right. Well, I don't think we're gonna be able to do. We're gonna have to wait till the trade deadline for these. Um. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll see how we go. We have already a stack. I haven't even tried this really stacked team that we all of a sudden just got. I was just gonna look at the uh, rosters and uh, finish looking at whatever I was looking at. So yeah, we were gonna give Strom some time on second line. Um, Turris will yeah. So we need to give we need to get rid of Turris and Kane because Strom is gonna come up anyway. So that would be a oh jeez. I really want to. Uh, I really want to trade these guys because Strom will come up, play first line, plus he's only 22 years old, so he is definitely growing. He will replace Turris right away if he's playing first line time. Um, Tevo Teravainen will be able to left wing him. Maybe maybe I could just get... Um, I mean, I need to keep Vander Kane because we don't have anybody to really take his place right now. Nordstrom's not going to go take his place. Comtois is not ready, and Patrick is not ready. Um, Over here, we have Lindholm that could possibly take a, a first-line position. but uh, And then we have defense. Velasic up here, <clears throat> Dougie Hamilton. So if I end up trading Velasic, it would be Shishron, Hamilton, Slavin, Flurry, Pesce, and then I'll probably end up bringing somebody up from the AHL roster. Which we look at the AHL roster. We've got a few guys that might end up. Oh, that M. McKinnon dude. Morgan McKinnon, 20 years old. He's He came up. Steven, Sebastian Aho, maybe make, maybe make the fourth line. Goalies. No, not goalies. Um, Bean, yeah, we'd bring up Bean because he's already a low elite as well. 
So that will all work out if we end up getting rid of those two. Let me try to make one more blockbuster trade. Try it. Let me try to get Panarin. Yeah, not Panarin. Not Panarin. No, Kane. Kane for the uh, for the uh, playoff run. Just to see if we can do that. Uh, trade and improve. I'll just try to go. I'll try to get rid of our. No, that that would not work. There's no way that's gonna work, cause they have they don't have the cap space for that anyway to pay for Velasic and the two guys that I'm like overpaying a crap ton for. That's oh man, I I don't know. I I really want these guys. I don't really know what else I gotta do. No, I gotta go over to Blackhawks. Let's see where the Blackhawks will stand on this. They will be twenty mil over. As the start, and then getting Patrick Kane at 10 mil, 30 years of age, will not bring that anywhere close. And can I get somebody that Artem Anisimov? He's a good second liner. Second line, so I don't need a center, but I can get a D man to um, possibly fill in. Polka. D Brian Cat. Hmm. Brent Seabrook, I can how many years left do these guys have? I want to get somebody that doesn't have many years left. They all have a ton of years left. I doubt this is ever gonna end up working. Yeah, because nobody else down here has got any sort of contract. Yeah, I don't. I have to pay Anisimov off for two years, but I probably could do that. I just there's no way I can get match that salary. They that wouldn't bring them close enough down. Actually, no, I could retain Velasic salary. I forgot. Let me retain fifty percent of Velasic salary right away. Classic salary there, and then maybe I can go and get Artem Anisimov and put him on a wing position, probably. Or I'll put the other guy on a wing position, put him centering. Will that go through? All right, so Velasic with 50% uh, of his contract retained for one year. It's only a one year contract, so I'll only have to pay this for one year. Um, Turris with a retained sal not a retained salary. Turris and Velasic, 91 overall, 32 years of age, and 88 overall, 30 years of age. Um, for Patrick Kane, um, at 94 overall, Artem Anisimov at 85 overall. I wonder if that will go. Th He's listed as a third line scoring forward so will that go through no jeez alright I'm gonna put last try for this trade I'm gonna put both those second round picks on there and see if that will do enough to get it over and push it through yes it went through so yeah I'll end up calling up Bean to the NHL Dougie Hamilton would go down. So in the system, Bean has to come up and edit lines. So we traded away our possible good season players, but they are coming up in the future. Let me just fill this guy real quick. Artem Nisimov. So he's listed as third line scoring forward. So that'll give Strom time to grow up on the first line at 22 years of age. 
Artemenisimov will be able to center and help out Maxime Comtois. Steele is growing, helping out Nolan Patrick. Julian Guthier. Hmm. Now I want to grow this team. I want them to have the best chance to do well. I want to get Guthier, Zykov, Steele here. Lindholm. So, and Strom is going to be growing. He is 22 years of age, starting off on the first line. Defense, I'm going to end up having to bring Chaishran up here. Bring in Bean. And then, like that. There we go. Slavin and Pesce and Hayden Flurry and Jake Bean up here for the last line here. So, Dougie Hamilton still leading the team. And goalies Corpus Salo up to a 93 so we are definitely stacked right now um oh yeah I've got to fix the not special teams I have to fix the defense guy here what do I want in here Lau 26 years old Bruce 22 I'll put Bruce in but he's got to go These guys are the same. Uh, what well, I don't know. He'll, he'll just go in there, I guess. So extras, I need shootout. Just need to put somebody in the shootout. Put in Roy. I don't know. All right. Cool. All right. So we've traded away. Oh, I didn't even put in... No, I didn't even... Hold up. I didn't even put in our the reason why we've traded in the first place. Let me go fix that real quick so our lines can... Um, uh, actually, I, I didn't, so I didn't just act like I lost everything there. I don't know what I was thinking. I was only putting Artem Anisimov in, and I didn't even put Patrick Kane up here on the first line right wing. So, Patrick Kane, there we go. Patty Kane up here leading the team. I'm going to switch over captains over to Patrick Kane. I'll have him be the captain over here. He'll actually be able to be a captain, so that'd be cool. Nordstrom. I'm going to switch out Nordstrom with Tavo Teravainen. Um, I don't really have anybody to sit besides Nordstrom or Anisimov. Uh, I feel like Nordstrom will have to be the guy that's going to sit because he's not really growing. That or I end up trying to trade Nordstrom. But, uh, yeah, so I think captains for this year, oh, finalizing all these rosters, captains for this year, we've got Patrick Kane, captain, um... Could even so you have Patrick Kane and Evander Kane on the same line, that that's cool. Two Kanes on the same line. Um, Patrick Kane, um, Dougie Hamilton, maybe Jacob Chaishron. or we could have. No. I'll uh since Cheshron's so young we'll have Kane Captain, Evander Kane alternate captain, and Cheshron uh not Cheshron, um Dougie Hamilton alternate captain. So yep, that's how the lines are gonna be. We'll try to trade for Nordstrom real quick after I do these captains, and then we'll wrap up this video and we'll start simming for season four next video. So let's see, who do we want here? Dougie Hamilton's already captain. Patrick Kane, he is going to be the captain. So finally get off the Blackhawks and actually become a captain for once. And not even just skip alternate captain, go straight to captain. So that helps out Patrick Kane. Yeah, I like that. Patrick Kane making him captain. It's my boy. Um, I don't know why the morale went down for adding. I added captains. I didn't even take any away. It, the morale went down. I don't like Patrick Kane. I don't know. I don't care. He's a good player. So, 
He's going to get it. All right, so I need to get Artemisimov maybe for a draft pick. Not Artemisimov. I need um, North Nordstrom. I need to because Nordstrom isn't going to get anything down here. Nordstrom, that looks like that'll be good enough for a weak second round pick or a high third round pick. Would I be able to grab a second? No, they they can't. They have too many skaters anyway. They don't want to give it up. I need to get a team that wants to give up their draft picks. Columbus wants to give it up. They have. They don't have enough. Uh, okay, so maybe let me try to get a skater back from them. Got to go down to the trade values down here. They want to get rid of these guys, this top medium top nine forward and 21 years of age. Let's see if uh, see if that goes through. Okay, all right. All right, so let me add that guy to the roster there. We've gotten a second round back. Um, so Zykov went down because I traded that guy away. Rask, I thought he would have went down a little bit. Patrick still, these guys are still growing. Both those guys are going to come up and become Patrick Kane in a few years. So a few years, we can trade back away Patrick Kane. And we just need, we just need it for now and then having a team like that that will help grow Comtois and Patrick so really good things happening for this year just our, our defense just kind of started getting uh, we started lacking a little bit for defense here who do I want to put this guy in for not Nicholas Roy why are these these guys are all prospects I don't even know if I can fit him in. These guys are both low HL top six forward. Let's see. Who's got better? I'll put him in for here. The other guy's got better shooting. So, Oh, and I still need to put in Hoffman yet. I hope I didn't. I think I need to... Uh, Send him down. I think he's in the NHL right now. Yeah, 19 out of 21. He's in the NHL right now. Kolstov. Send him down. Go to edit lines. And I'll put him in over here. So 22. Hoffman's 26. Kolstov is 21. So we'll try that. All right, so a ton of prospects down there. AHL is definitely growing, and it should have a good season with the record looking like that. Captains were fixed. I didn't do the uh, alternate or the I didn't do the captains down here in uh, Charlotte, but I don't really know why I wouldn't or what I would do for that. So so far we took a lot off of our defense. So hopefully Chaishron can step up and grow a bunch this season. And our goalie has a 95 overall. Our offense is 94. Our defense is 88. So besides our defense now that we just traded away Vlasic, I mean, we needed to get rid of him anyway. We have Chaisharan stepping up. Um, we're going to have to uh, hopefully. We still have all those players and our, on our defense that are still capable of growing. So that defensive stat could even increase to 90 or 91 over the, the course of the season. So that'll be good. If that happens, our other stats will probably increase as well. Our offensive and our goalie stats will probably increase as well. So be offense 95, goal, uh, defense 90, 91, goalie 96 maybe. And that, that'll just be a really freaking hard team to deal with. So... 
definitely seeing a lot happening for this season so uh that will wrap up this episode as you see i'm always saving it every once in a while or i'll save it every episode just so just in case so everything is saved and i don't have to make a uh, run back like i did in uh, episode five or episode six but uh all that season simulation for season four um if you like the video drop a like comment subscribe um that's the only way i can tell that you guys like the videos and you guys want to see more so let me let me know that you guys want to see more so do that stuff um and i will see you in the next video in the sky gazing far into the night i raise my hand to the fire but it's no use because you can't stop it from shining through it's